Well, the family getting this quarter minute dash twenty minute lead today is Thursday, Thursday, my city, Chicago, September the eighth, twenty twenty two. Quarter to my Sony clock, it is one thirty two. It could be one thirty at one. Don't quote me on the time. This one is about me. It being the eighth, and I'm the the, the day being the eighth, and um. Me being the originator of rap since the age of eight, 1975. Now, a lot of people was plotting on my crown, and I just, you know, flipped to uh, flip the Bible in the last video to uh, put my specs on to Proverbs chapter four and verse nine. It says, "She shall give to thy head." An ornament of grace, a crown of glory, shall she deliver to thee. Now, I was trying to pass the crown and everything, legacy, rap legacy, to the new generation, but they wanted to steal it. You know, uh, I think Young and May said something like, you know, if I see a crown damn right, I'm going to take it. Or I'm going to go for it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can't steal nothing that's mine. Nigga, you see the smile? Motherfucker. Straight up. Now, I didn't know at the time about, you know, I wasn't thinking king, queen, crown, none of that shit. I was just thinking, how can I get the new generation to, uh, you know, Continue on in a respectable way without, you know, sh real shit turning into shit. You know, my favorite saying, one of them is, sugar and shit don't mix unless there's a trick to it. Real talk. That's the honest guy's true. You know, um, I got to get out this trap building because, you know, I got to get out of Chicago. I got to get away from a whole bunch of motherfuckers. But they say, where I go, trouble follows me, so why should I leave, right? You understand what I'm saying? My thing is, why is people coming in my city if they don't like Chicago and America and all that? Everybody always talking about how bad it is, but they study coming and shit. Because they getting free shit. That's why. Real motherfuckers ain't getting shit. And the motherfuckers that got it then come back and save the ones who helped them get it. Okay, cool. But no, when motherfuckers rob y'all motherfucking asses and shit, you ain't going to be able to come back. For real. See, it's still a window of opportunity because come next year, I don't want to hear it. I swear, I don't want to hear nothing. Nothing. I wouldn't care if you come dragging your ass with all my money, property, and prestige. If I don't get my audios and my books, especially rhymes, poems, and metaphors plus one song back, by the end of this fucking goddamn year, and I mean what I say, real talk, a nigga better not say shit to me. For real, for real. Nothing. I ain't got no family. Never really had them any damn way. I did all this blood, sweat, and tears in a hot hip And I'll be damned if I live a hundred years going through hell. Fuck you all. I wouldn't give a shit. Real talk. I'm only going with motherfuckers who appreciate me, and I would know it. And if you're too scared to goddamn show it, then you ain't never been nobody anyway. How in the hell you gonna be scared as a grown motherfucker to talk to a motherfucker and shit? Y'all niggas weren't scared when you needed me. Now all of a sudden you got everything and you running with a bad motherfucking crew and shit. Now you know, oh, you know, all y'all motherfuckers gonna go to hell or jail or fucking goddamn the insane sound you're gonna lose your mind before it's over with. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. That's why Oprah tapped out and threw that shit back at me and shit. For real. Because she knew it was my shit any damn way, but she tried to fuck me around and thought I couldn't get up out the shit. If she was still, if she was really the queen of media, she would still have her show, but she merged with uh, Tamara Hall. But, you know, we see through that shit too. You should have kept the show open for real because I had a whole lot of phenomenal magnificent people and marvelous and you know a lot of wonderful people could have uh, 
Oh, you could have went out like a champ, but just like all motherfuckers with a title or somebody give them a managerial position, they always want to take over. You understand what I'm saying? Acting like they the about, yeah, I'm the head nigga in charge. Really? Why did you, why you tear that building down? You understand what I'm saying? That was the worst thing you could have done. But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You think you're winning. Okay. I mean, when you get about 10 more years, if that, you understand what I'm saying? Who you going to get to? You, you know, they only going to come around for the money. You always supposed to stick with the ones that you came up with, the one you fought the hardest with. Because those are the ones that's going to help you maintain it. These new motherfuckers don't give a fuck. Hey, what you got? Hand out. You understand what I'm saying? They want the little crumbs I got. So I know they want your shit. What you still think you're the queen of media? And you know you're not. I am with the audience if I got one view, two views, or no views. You know why? Because I allowed everybody to have a chance, something you didn't give them. Real talk. That's the honest guy's truth. So, you know, right there, that makes me the queen of media, if you want to call it that. You understand what I'm saying? I don't care about none of this shit. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just a regular motherfucker. I'm like the song New Birth. You understand what I'm saying? Wildflower. None of this shit is supposed to be my motherfucking goddamn problems and shit. I've been carrying other people's problems around and, you know, motherfucking goddamn living in a gangster's paradise while I'm catching hell. And everybody, you know, that could do some ain't doing shit and that's what's gonna get y'all caught the fuck up i mean shit i got a few dollars nigga you understand what i'm saying and you know what i don't know what to do with it because everything is fucked up you understand what i'm saying i don't drink drugs smoke a porn and cam in the truck building you understand what i'm saying ain't none of this shit relating to me this is just some shit that's like a show to get over some shit that y'all put me in and stuff for real so I can figure shit out. So Proverbs chapters 1 through 10 is what I flip to. And it's always the X. And that's why I put right here. You understand what I'm saying? Malcolm X and shit. Because, you know, y'all let y'all pimps players and mac daddies. Well, the fuck. Brainwash you. And then you... Getting some shit you can't get out of. Now, I had this one girl. She was supposed to have been a friend. Her name was Ro. There you go right there. And a friend, so-called friend named Alice. Alice looked me dead in my face when she knew that shit hit the fan. Then say, hey, how you doing? Nothing. Over here, I wrote, LaWanda was living two lives, and she was a she-devil. You understand what I'm saying? They be looking for people to take their pain out on this shit. You understand? And you can be in your, living your best life. And the next thing you know, you catching hell because somebody on some goofy ass shit. And you try to get them out and they swear up and down. You know, they did it all by themselves. And I'm like, girl... Right here on um, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. That's what it's saying. I underline it. So you can hate me all you want. If you love death, that's your story, not mine. You know, but uh, I'm just here to warn you because I already know. And then I already knew. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was plotting on my crown or whatever. I ain't give a fuck about all that. I promise you. God knows my heart. And I won't even think about that shit. For real. I, you know, I was too busy just having regular fun. As a, you know what I'm saying? I figured if I let everybody go ahead and they come up, even if they was using me after a while, you know, they would want to see me happy in order to keep themselves happy. Who said it? Who said it? I was watching some video. You know, they was like, you know, if I keep, if 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 I if I can get them to like themselves or whatever, in so many words, then you know, maybe I can do me. In so many words, they were saying some motherfuckers don't don't want to be happy though. 
They'd rather be miserable just to see you miserable. Ain't that something? That's that bullshit, nigga. So, heavy as the head that wear the crown. And this story is almost over because come next year, I promise you. I promise you, it's going to be a New Year's resolution, motherfucker. I ain't fucking look. I ain't look. I ain't studying you niggas for real. Quiet scale, I ain't studying you now. I don't understand why you keep trying to hold on to me like a respirator. You understand what I'm saying? I can't do nothing for y'all. This y'all shit. Y'all got to get y'all ass about this shit yourself. And I told you it's only going to work if you do right by me. But because you love death, you know what I'm saying? They say you can't serve two masters. You're going to love one and hate the other. And that's why motherfuckers be trying to do two lives and stuff. They call them the two live crew. Doodle Brown. Real tough. Hey, my real Mary McAmyers. I appreciate you. If you was praying for me or whatever. Looks like I got a problem, Houston. I can't find this guy dang on. I can't can't find the white ball. Must not be meant for me to play this game right here. So, now you know I lost the six ball. See, this is real life and shit, for real. This is this is what I go through, real shit. This shit is real time. Hold on. Yeah, this is in real time. I can't even find it. I'm telling you the truth. Okay, we're going to do something different. Because, you know, the devil always try to mess stuff up. So this is what we're going to do. We ain't got to do it. We ain't got to do it. I'm going to pick one from each side. You see me looking? That's the five. And this is the uh, 14. And the one that fell on the ground... It's the 15. I'm going back, motherfucker. It's the 15. Alright? That's the one that fell. But 14 and 5 is what? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. They try to steal 19 years of sobriety from me because of Martin Luther King dream. It's not your fault, it's just the way you was taught. So 19, 29, 30 to 1 to 2 to 3, 34. Touchdown. Sometimes you got to switch your game up. Nothing happens in this world by mistake, okay? Remember that. My, my truth is truth, okay? So you can try to stop me, cock block me and all that, but God going to always look out for me. Merely you'll get a new support and originator rap music. I don't know where that fucking white ball went, but uh, a gift is from God and surprise the kid, and I'm going to catch it one way or another. All right, you know my fucking number is what? Ten. Four and six is what? All I do is win. It's called Ten City for a reason. Devotion. And if you ain't going to be devoted to the people who came up with you, what make you think my higher power going to look out for you? And that's the honest guy's truth. I ain't pointing the finger. I ain't blaming. I'm just telling the honest guy's truth and stuff. And if that what going to get me killed and crucified, thank you. I've been being killed and crucified all my life. It just don't show yet. But I guarantee you, it'll probably be bloody, bloody, bloody. Well, that is a get on this Portland Man Dash 20 Mary Lee. Have a game up. Peace.